Hello, in this one we're going to look at making a script loop, and I'm going to use two methods to do that. Well, the first is going to be the while command, and the second is going to be the wait until. We've got a pretty standard setup here. It's say I'm playing as a blue four guy. We've got a blue four present trigger, and the on activation is null execute my script.sqf. So what I'm going to do is tab out the game, and I'm going to create my script.sqf. Now that we're on the desktop, I'm going to start doing some scripting. Uh, you can use Notepad if you want to. That's in accessories. Everyone has it who has installed Windows. I'm going to use Notepad++. And I'm going to create a loop. Um, that loop is going to be dependent on a value. And I'm going to call this value my value. You can call it whatever you want. My value equals 20. Okay. So my value is now equivalent to 20 if I use it in the script. Um, then I'm going to use the while command. Just give me one second while I uh, switch on extensions. So while my value, and then I'm going to use the greater command, do something, okay? So while my value is greater than zero, do whatever is in between these two squiggly brackets here. What I'll do is I'll link you to the while uh, Wikipedia uh, on the Bohemian Interactive forums. And it gives you a few examples there. What you have to do for this is you have to use the squiggly brackets for both sections here. So while and then in between the first two squiggly brackets is your condition, very much like if you're setting a condition of a trigger in the editor. And then do is the second command I've used. Do this that's in between there. And what I'm going to do in between this here is I'm going to write two lines of code and I'm going to write my value equals my value minus one. Okay, so it's a bit of maths there. My value equals my value minus one. So when this is run once, my value equals 19. When, the, when this is run again, my value equals 18. And I might as well turn this into some sort of countdown script just to demonstrate what it does in game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hint format and then I'm going to write percentage 1, and I'm going to type my value there. And what that's going to do is it's going to display my value. The val the <laughs> It's going to display what the value of my value is every single time this, this script is run. Okay. Um, since we're minus 1, I'm going to do sleep one second in between those so it pauses the script when it gets to this point for one second and essentially what I've created here is a very simple countdown clock so I'm gonna press file save as and I'm gonna name this my script sqf and we're gonna press save we're going to drag this from the desktop and we're gonna find our mission so Intel at loops, I think it was. Looping scripts, there we go. And we're going to drag that in there. Once again, we're going to uh, walk into the trigger, and that script, my script.sqf, is going to be fired. And hopefully, we're going to get a bit of a countdown in the top right hand corner. And once again, we're going to hit preview, and we're going to walk forward into our trigger area. <clears throat> And hopefully if we've done this right in the top right hand corner, we're going to get a countdown clock. So there we go, we can see the countdown clock has started. And that eventually will get down to one, and the script will continue past the end of our line. And that's it, it ends on zero. So what I'm going to uh, do is tab out now, and I'm going to show you how to add another um, another sort of loop. But before that, I'm going to create a unit, and I'm going to call him Unit1. 
And I'm just going to place him there. And tab out the game. What we'll do once again is just uh, go into my script.sqf and we're going to edit it. And this time we're going to add another line. So this is another form of loop. And it's going to be using the wait until command. And once again, it's squiggly brackets. And my condition in between the squiggly brackets is going to be not alive unit one. And that refers to our unit we placed in the map earlier, obviously. And just after that, I'm going to write hint. This is this is the last line of our script to know that we've got to the end of it in game. <coughs> so just to recap, uh, we're going to have the countdown again, like we had earlier. And after that is finished, it's going to head down to this line here, and the condition is going to be wait until unit one is dead. Once unit 1 is dead, then our script will move past this to the last line and it'll tell us that this is the last line of our script. So once again I'm going to tab back into the game and we'll have a look at what we've done. So again, preview. And I'm going to walk forward. And we can see that the countdown clock has started. And we're going to kill this guy in a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, we've got to zero on our countdown. And the wait until command has done exactly what it says on the tin. It's paused the script. And it's waiting until this guy's dead. Once he's dead, remember we're going to get that hint saying this is the last line of our code. So... There we go, immediately now he's dead. This is the last line of our code. So the wait until command has just monitored his condition, whether he's alive or dead. Hopefully that's been useful to you in terms of um, showing you how to make scripts within your um, scripts loop for your missions. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.